Spain is home of a wide variety of wonderful monuments and impressive historical buildings that are unique and a world heritage site. Among the most outstanding, we have those of Arab style, a legacy of the Arab Empire whose domain extended for eight long centuries throughout the Iberian Peninsula until just 500 years ago. Toledo is not an exception, and despite being a common point where today couples show their union and their love in various ways like this, it still retains the magic of that historical period. At present, three beautiful mosques are still preserved. The Bab al Mardum Mosque, the Solarejo Mosque or Tornerias Street Mosque, and the El Salvador Mosque, the latter now converted into a church. The name of the city, Toledo, it originates from the Roman name Toletum, which means high place. In 711, the Muslims took the city, which surrendered without a battle, and Toledo, or Tulay Tulat in Arabic, became dependent on the Emirate of Cordoba, as well as the Iberian Peninsula. Within these walls, Muslims, Jews, and Christians lived together for centuries in peace and respect for the customs of each culture. An important lesson that should make many reflect today. Come with me through all these streets. Let's discover together the secrets of Toledo. Well, Let's see those top places to visit on your first trip. Bab al Mardum Mosque, Bricket Gate, currently called Cristo de la Luz. It was built in the year 999 approximately. It is considered the best preserved building from the Muslim era in the city since, despite the wars of the Spanish reconquest in the 12th century, they respected a large part of the structure for its beauty. It is open from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Thus, it is said that when the Christian armies entered the city, the monarch's horse fell to its knees upon reaching the height of the mosque in a place where there is now a white stone floor. The Christian king tried to get his steeds to stand up, but when it turned out to be impossible, it was interpreted as a divine sign. He then ordered them to dig there, and in the end they found some remains next to an oil lamp that, according to what they say, had remained lit for more than 300 years. In the name of God, the gracious, the compassionate, the merciful, this mosque was erected by Ahmad ibn Hadidi and it was finished, thank God, under the direction of the architect Musa ibn Ali and Sa'ad, finishing the construction in Muharram in the year 390. The Cathedral of Toledo, All Greater Mosque or Al Yami Mosque. 
It is currently the Cathedral of Santa Maria, also called the Primate Cathedral of Spain. It is one of the most impressive cathedrals in the world and one of the most beautiful places. And I can tell you, very, very hot in summer. We were almost 40 degrees in these images. It is from Gothic style and it took over 267 years to build it, from 1226 to 1493, with three facades, a 192 meter high tower, the Puerta del Reloj, which is the oldest facet, and the Puerta de los Leones, which was the last to be built. Inside there are places of great value, such as the main chapel, the chapter house, the Mozarabic chapel, the stained glass windows or the treasury. According to the famous Gustavo Adolfo Becker, once upon a time there was a woman who always wanted to wear the best clothes and jewelry to attract attention among the residents of Toledo. They say that the one in love with her found her crying one afternoon. She confessed to him that having been in the temple during celebration of the Virgin, she had fallen in love with the gold bracelet called La Jorca de Oro that the Virgin wore on her arm. To please his lover, he had no choice but to give in to the request of his lover and enter the cathedral to steal the jewel for her. In the darkness and silence of the city night, he entered the cathedral. Walking around, fearful of the shadows cast by the few lit candles that seemed to follow him, he finally arrived before the image of the Virgen del Sagrario. With much effort, he managed to snatch the bracelet from the figure. But... When he turned to round out of the cathedral, all the statues and skeletons had come to life and surrounded him to protect the bracelet. The next morning, when they opened the temple, they found him lying on the ground, completely crazy and screaming, It's yours! At the same time that he raised the gold bracelet with his hand. The Greater Synagogue, later known as the Synagogue of Santa Maria la Blanca, is an architectural treasure built in the old Jewish quarter. It is a mudeja religious building built in 1180 and was used for more than 200 years as a synagogue until it was converted into a church in 1411. Discreet on the outside and beautiful on the inside, with white walls, octagonal pillars and horseshoe arches, which have served as a model for other synagogues around the world. This one in particular was built by Muslim builders of the time. Do you see these golden symbols on the ground? It is the Hebrew word Sefarat, 
a word that traditionally the Hebrews identify with Spain. It has a shape similar to that of the Iberian Peninsula. Jai, in Hebrew, life. It is not only the word life, but in Hebrew culture it has the symbolic value of protection apart from that of life. It usually appears in places that want to be protected. And the star of Daud or David, it has many meanings in the Hebrew tradition between the earthly and the spiritual, between the sky and the earth. Jewish menorah. According to the Hebrew tradition, a candlestick had to be made of pure gold, rocked only with a special hammer, made in one piece with a single central trunk, from which six branches or arms would emerge, three on its left and three on its right. You see, in the middle of the street, Jai. and the Jewish menorah. El Greco Museum it is close to the old Jewish quarter and the synagogue of El Transito. It is the only museum in Spain dedicated to El Greco, with works from the 16th and 17th centuries, representative of the life of Domenicos Theotokopoulos, especially his later years, and of Toledo culture and society at the time. And here we are, in the Alcázar of Toledo. It is an impressive medieval fortress located in the highest part of the city. It is originally from Roman times, although 1525, when King Charles I broke his court to the city and rebuilt the building in the shape that can be seen today. Inside is the library of Castilla-La Mancha, which is free to enter with good views of the city. Monastery of San Juan de los Reyes. This monastery was built by the Catholic monarchs in 1476. It is a Franciscan building in the Elizabeth Gothic style with lots of sculptures. There is a church inside with symbols of the Catholic monarchs. I advise you to explore the surrounding streets. It is open every day from 10 a.m. to 6.45 p.m. The Alley of Hell. This place is a bit creepy at night. Luckily, it is daytime and 40 degrees. Do you want to know the reason for his name? It is said that a man from Toledo met a witch known as La Diablesa one day. This guy wanted to marry a girl, but she had another handsome sweeter. So the guy asked the witch for a spell to kill his competitor. In short, the witch put a spell on him and the other sweeter actually died. So the guy was able to marry the girl. The guy had to pay 50 gold coins to the witch. But when the coins touched the witch's hands, she began to burn between blue and white flames until she was completely consumed. There was an explosion that threw the guy out of the witch's house. The guy saved his life and fled the place, leaving the coins lying around. Due to this strange and mysterious event, they decided to give both names to the two nearby streets the alley of hell, where it is said that the house of the witch was 
and the alley of the devil which by the way as you can see is mysteriously closed today Zocodober Square in Toledo, the Plaza de Zocodober from the Arabic Zocad Dawab, Market of the Beasts, normally for transport and cargo, was the nerve center and main square for many centuries. It is also said that bullfighting shows and even public executions were held here. Today is one of the places with the most atmosphere in Toledo. It has several entrances, among which the Arco de la Sangre stands out. This is one of the best places to try the typical dishes of Toledo, buy a souvenir or have a drink. Do not forget, if you are going to spend a night in the city, that from this square you can start a pleasant walk through the narrow streets of the old town under the light of the street lamps. Near the square there are also some of the best restaurants to eat in Toledo to try Toledo-style partridge, sweetbreads, or oxtail. Weather change a lot depending on the time of year you visit. Of course, very cold in winter and very hot in summer like now. The rain is irregular but more frequent in spring and autumn. The Damascinados of Toledo are crafts of figure and drawings by introducing gold and silver threads into a support, generally made on steel or iron. They are unique designs that can be made on sword, plates, brooch, jewelry, bookmarks, scissors, furniture, Mozarabic, Christian or Hebrew motifs predominate showing the city's millennial mixture of cultures. Historical and handmade Toledo swords with luxurious and embellished hilts are a precious and expensive souvenir, especially if it is made by a renowned craftsman. Toledo steel has been known for centuries, reaching its splendor in the 16th century. In the shop windows we see, above all, reproductions of famous swords such as El Cid, La Tizona, King Arthur's Excalibur, or the swords of Bob Dill and James I. Also we can see some special swords from video games like Zelda. There is a workshop, Taller Zamorano, in the center of Toledo where you can see how they are made performs their forging of a sword in a traditional way. There are children's versions of these swords mainly in wood, cheaper. We can also find wooden shields, medieval objects, etc. The Don Quixote route begins in the thousand-year-old city of Toledo, 
which is why you can find many Don Quixote souvenirs, including some very special editions of the book. In Toledo, we also find beautiful tiles and ceramics, as well as beautiful handmade embroideries. Therefore, if you have never visited Toledo, you have to visit it. It is an amazing experience, from going up its long escalators to reach the old town and start your adventure to entering its narrow streets and seeing the skill with which residents strive. It is a unique and unforgettable experience full of history, culture and magic. There is a lot of history behind this city waiting to be discovered. Waiting for the traveler to discover its charms, hidden and exposed. A journey through time where we will immerse ourselves in the Spain of many centuries ago with a great Arabic influence and the Spanish Empire a trip that without questions cannot be missing from your list. All right, so here we are. This is Toledo, it's a very beautiful city and there is a lot of things to do. We just have a little blink of, of this marvelous city. But I think we still have a lot of places to see. Let's go!